Hi folks, Matthew Lanigan here with Baywa RE. Just about uh, ready to get started. Just seeing quite a few people still signing in. So we'll just give it two or three minutes and then we'll be back to kick things off. Thanks. Hi folks, Matthew Lanigan here again with Baywa RE. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer here with Baywa. Really appreciate you all taking time to be with us here today and uh, learn a little bit more of some of the off-grid products that our great partner Samlex has to offer. Just a couple of housekeeping notes before we get going. Uh, this will be recorded. Uh, it will go up on our YouTube channel uh, very shortly. If you haven't signed up for a YouTube channel, uh, we'd love to have you do that. You can find this presentation as well as all previous presentations posted there. We will also put it out in the next uh, newsletter coming out on January 1st. If you have any questions, we'd like to encourage you to put them in the bottom right corner. Uh, we will do our best to answer them as we go. Um, continuing education is a very important pillar of uh, the way we do things here around Baywa, so we're we're extremely happy to have you join us and us to uh, extend that uh, to our partners. And just before we get going, I would just like if somebody could write something in the chat box just to make sure uh, things are working properly. Okay. Uh, so without further ado, uh, would like to introduce Zach, uh, Channel Account Manager with Samlex. Zach? Thanks, Matt. Uh, can everyone uh, can everyone hear me okay? Looks like we can. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I appreciate the introduction there, Matt. I'm I'm you know, grateful that we can uh, get a time here and get everyone to gather today to uh, talk about a few of the products that we offer through our, our partner Baywa. Uh, all these products I'm going to talk about today you can get through their online store uh, and as well just by reaching out to your, your Baywa rep. Um, so the focus of the, of the presentation is going to be our inverter charger line uh, but I am going to touch a little bit on uh, a few of our other series as well. So as Matt mentioned Type away questions into the chat. I will do the best to answer them as I go. Uh, and maybe Matt or Will can uh, can bring it to my attention if I miss a question. So I'm going to start up the presentation here. OK. Uh, looking for a thumbs up here. Everybody can see the presentation and we'll, we'll get moving. Yes, we can see it. Perfect. Thanks, Matt. Okay. So 
just a little introduction for those that uh, haven't heard of Sam Lakes before, or um, for those that even have. So Sam Lakes America, we are a manufacturer of power conversion products and we've been doing it since 1991. So I've been at it for about 32 years uh, and been partners with Baywa for a good chunk of that time as well. Uh, so today we're gonna run through what we call our EVO line and our EVO 4248 in the inverter charger series. So we are, as I said, global supplier of uh, power conversion products. Um, so I wanna do today a little bit of an agenda uh, I want to run through some applications just to highlight where our products fit and maybe, you know, bring up some thoughts that people touch on, applications that people do, maybe some that you get requests for but you currently don't, don't put together, uh, just to, to get an idea of, of where these products fit. I will say that the products I'm talking about go in the off-grid market, so they work around you know, a battery bank to supply power. So who we are, uh, you know, here at Sam Lex America uh, and at Baywa, uh, we focus on customer service. So simply put, we pick up the phone. You give us a call, we're here to support, whether it's uh, sales support or warranty or technical support. Uh, we're just here to help you out uh, as you're, you're going through your daily tasks. Okay, so this is the, the first application here that I wanted to kind of talk about. Uh, you know, maybe I can paint a little bit of a picture. The, the slide says tiny home power, uh, but this really could be an application for a cabin or cottage, uh, maybe something like a van conversion um, or, you know, an RV or anything that, uh, requires power that's maybe mobile or, or uh, off-grid. So in this setup here, in this application, we can see our inverter charger there at the bottom. Uh, we can see, you know, maybe you have shore power at sometimes when you're parked, uh, generator for a backup there, uh, and then we have solar panels and charge controller all coming down into the system. Uh, is, there, is there anybody here that handles similar applications? Maybe you just want to drop the note into the chat there. And I'll, uh, yeah, if I see something pop up, I'll address it. Okay, next up, next application where our products fit, uh, battery backup power. Uh, so this application right here, it doesn't include any solar, but it is still providing power to your essential loads in the case of power loss. So again, you can see a very similar, our EVO inverter charger there, shore power generator as a backup system, and just running a few, you know, a few essential loads, the fridge, the freezer, the sump pump, a heater, some lights. Uh, I'm gonna assume that this is stuff that you guys tackle on a regular basis. This is something that you get requests for. Okay. Another application here for where our products fit, uh, remote building. You know, this one is a, a cool diagram. I like this one a lot just simply because it was a, a customer that came to us, that came to Baywa and, and made this exact setup. Uh, it happens quite a bit. It is a common use for us. Um, but a guy had some property on the island on Victoria. He wanted to have a power system there for security when he wasn't around. He wanted to have the ability to go to his property when he felt like and, and run some lights, have a place to work, have a place to stay, uh, and look after it, essentially, when he wasn't there. So, you know, this one's a barn. This one's a remote property. Again, though, we could be doing cabins or cottage, uh, just anywhere that you don't have grid power that you need power. Uh, here's kind of a different take on that we get questions for as well. You know, job site power. I, I'm sure there's people or, you know, applications where you're going to a construction site and you need to store your tools. Uh, I've been there myself where you're 
working in the dark, it's 6.37 in the morning, sun's not even up yet, and you're holding your, your phone to, to see your tools you're pulling out of the, the storage shed. So uh, job site power is a big one that we see where people want, they want power while they're there and they, they can't run a grid line because it's just not accessible. Another application here, vehicle power. Uh, so everybody has their own van, their own truck, uh, maybe their own fleet. Maybe they deal with uh, builders or outfitters that do fleets. Uh, so this is giving you the option to have the power in the back of your vehicle as you're moving around from site to site. Yeah. Uh, so all those applications there, they kind of highlighted very similar products. Uh, that was our inverter charger. That was some solar panels and charge controller. Uh, and it was just across different applications. The whole idea here is the systems stay fairly similar. Uh, you can sub out the inverter charger for an inverter. You can sub out for a battery charger or transfer switch, different sizes of PV systems. Um, but the essential components there remain battery bank, product to get power from the battery bank, and products to charge up that battery bank. So here at Samlex, and again, with our partners at Baywa, we offer a wide variety of products. Uh, so inverter chargers, power inverters, battery chargers, transfer switch, charge controllers, portable solar kits, converters, and power supplies. And then you pair that with Baywa's offering of solar, uh, solar panels, larger charge controllers, battery systems, uh, and all the components you need to make the full system, you guys can complete your off-grid system. Is there any We've got a couple of questions here, Zach. Uh, first yep. one, do you have yep. plans to offer a 50 amp MPPT charge controller so they match the Evo's 50 amp external DC input? Samlex used to work with Steca. Yeah, thanks for the question. Matt, I will say, uh, I am not seeing the chat move on my end. So I apologize, guys, if I miss questions. I appreciate I'll you bringing that up. I'll call them out, no problem. Thank you. Uh, that is a great question. I'm glad someone is familiar with the EVO and its DC input. And so the answer to that question is yes. Time frame, I don't have an answer for you, but it is product development that we're doing right now. And you're right, that would pair greatly with the evil to allow you to have more of an all-in-one system. Um, so yes, is there other questions I'm missing? Yeah, there's one more here. When you have nothing on or not using power, what is the standby wattage or amps drawn of Samlex inverter while there is no load? We are getting right into the fine details right now. I like it. So. There's a couple options with the EVO. The default standby power draw at no load is eight watts, give or take. Uh, you can switch it to a power saving mode, which is less than five watts. Then as soon as it senses there's a load, it starts inverting again. So depends how you have it set up. Default is eight. Uh, you can set it to a, a setting that has five. Great, that's good. It. We nailed Great. them off. Yeah. All yeah. right. Thanks, Matt. Um, yeah. Does anybody have any questions, or do they want to learn more about some of the other product lines? Uh, I won't necessarily cover it today, but I can touch on, you know, a few a few key components of them if we want. Uh, feel free to throw it in the in the chat if if you want more information on them. Okay. All right, so the reason why we're here to talk today, and that's our inverter charger series. So for ours, our EVO, what I want to say it is a combination of an inverter, internal battery charger, and a transfer switch, all in one unit. Now, it is a little different, and some already brought it up, which is great. Uh, our inverter charger is a little different than maybe some others you see out there. While there's not a charge controller built in there is a dc input that you can hook a charge controller up to gives you some flexibility in in choosing your charge control system uh, for your pv array but this is it this is what our inverter charger is so what are the options well we have uh, a series of evos the original uh, inverter charger series for us 
going from 2200 watts to 4000 and these have been in the marketplace for 10 10 years uh, or so now at this point uh, you got options in 12 volt 24 volt 120 vsc output then you also see that we offer the same units in a 230 vsc single phase output as well if you have some applications that need that power draw uh, you have your sizing options there too flipping over to the right side of the slide here we have our evo f series uh, what's nice about these is you're getting a uh, same features just in a slightly smaller inverter charger that has a great fit in that van uh, that fleet application that i showed you you might be limited on the cabinet space uh, while this one has a lower profile file uh, while still being an all-in-one uh, inverter charger unit uh, these ones come in 1200 watts 12 and 24. you know other applications i see these in too is someone might have a you know a a toy shed on their property. They don't need a lot of power. They just need to run some lights, uh, need to run maybe a, a couple tools. Uh, these are a great fit in those systems. And with their programmable battery charger, uh, will allow you to match it up with whatever battery bank you're going with. Got a All couple more questions here, Zach. Yeah. Um, Alex asks, how does the Evo series contribute to maximizing energy capture and efficiency from solar panels and off-grid systems? Yeah, so I think this ties in uh, a little bit to the DC input. Um, so, you know, there's a couple ways you can hook the system up. You could have your PV array go through your charge controller straight to your battery bank, uh, but you can also have it connect to the DC input of the EVO. Uh, so in the EVO series original, there's a 50 amp input, then on our other 4248, which I'll talk about, there's a 100 amp input. Uh, what that does, what that adds to the system is it's going to monitor the current going through those DC inputs. Uh, so when you're charging up your battery bank, if you have a generator or you have grid or line power, it's monitor power coming through and it's going to adjust its internal battery charger to, to ensure that it's giving optimal charging amps to your battery bank. That is if you go through the DC input. If you're going straight to the battery bank, it's still monitoring power coming out of the battery um, and, and logging it, uh, but it's just not controlling the charge going through to the, to the battery bank. Hopefully that addressed the question. Uh, hopefully that addressed the question. Yeah, what else we have? Good. Yeah, we got four or five more here. Uh, what types of battery storage systems does the Evo series offer for off-grid setups? And how do they address challenges like energy storage and reliability? So the the Evo will work with uh, essentially any battery chemistry. Now I say essentially because there's tons of them out there and they're changing every day. Uh, but they will work with your flooded, your AGM, your gel, your lithiums. Uh, there is a programmable battery charger in there that you can change the profiles, you can change the amps, you can change uh, the two stage, three stage, four stage uh, to optimize your charging and, and extend the life of your battery bank. Can you explain the scalability and durability features of the Evo series battery solutions for varying off-grid needs? So as far as scalability, uh, I'm gonna take that and mean, can we stack the system? Um, on our EVO line itself, the 22 through the 4,000, that is not a that is not a feature. On our 4248, that is a feature coming very soon. Uh, so you can you can add to your system and get 4,200, 8,400, 12,000 watts with your with your system. Now, as far as the battery bank goes, uh, I mean you got your 12, your 24, or the 48. Um, there is, like I said, programmable or program settings in there. So if you're growing your battery bank, you can change the settings to match the new charging needs. Great. How do Evo series charge controllers and inverters optimize energy flow and conversion in off-grid systems compared to conventional systems? No, I, I wonder maybe if we're talking the efficiency of the inverter charger. So the charge controllers, 
uh, for, for Sam Lex. What we offer as a product line is a smaller um, charge controller right now. It's a 10, 8, 20, 30 amp PWM. Uh, as mentioned at the start, we are working on a larger MPPT, uh, but currently uh, they're a smaller charge controller. For most of these off-grid systems we're talking, uh, that would be a product that you want to get uh, recommendations from with, with Baywa, because they're going to have a larger selection to, to match with the system. As far as efficiencies on the Evo, I don't know that offhand. Uh, we can connect after it. I, we can dive into that question more. Great. Uh, can you run two inverters side by side for one 2240 split phase configuration? Uh, no, not out of the Evo series. The 4248 is split phase, and I'll, I'll talk about that unit. Uh, da -da. What role do monitoring systems play in the Evo series for off grid systems? How do they benefit users? So, as far as monitoring the system itself, it, you would get a remote. Uh, there is two options you can see for the one line, but I'm going to talk about just the RC. Plus. Uh, it has four lines of display. Uh, it's going to show you different, uh, you know, voltages, different, uh, sorry, how the system is performing right there in front of you. You can change settings with it. It also has a SD card uh, that will log performance of the Evo. So you can look at this data, you can take the SD card out and you can review. Uh, you can decide if maybe there's just settings you need to adjust. You can reach out to our technical support and they'll give you suggestions for settings to optimize uh, your, your charging profiles. Uh, and then you can do firmware updates. Uh, all these can happen through that SD card. Are there specific compatibility considerations or guidelines when integrating Evo series components with other off-grid products? It, great question. Uh, as mentioned, the battery banks, you, you can change settings to fit with that. Um, I would say that if you're adding in different parts of the system, it's going to fit in fine. I, there shouldn't be compatibility issues. Um, yeah, I, it, it will work fine with other products uh, to complete your off-grid system. Have we, have we checked them all off now, Matt? Yeah, I think we're we're good for now. And if we miss anything, we'll we'll definitely respond uh, once the webinar is over. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Matt. Uh, okay, so just a quick uh, you know faceplate of the the unit here. Um, so this is the Evo 2200 to 4000 watt series. Quick run through. As you can see, we offer two AC inputs. Uh, so this allows you to have grid. This allows you to have generator both hardwired into the unit. And you can also set up what your primary source of power wants to be. Uh, the system has an auto gen relay as well, auto gen start relay to pair with the generator. Um, you can see the, the port for the remote control. Uh, you can also see the DC inputs there to run your charge controller down to. Okay, now we're getting into 4248. Uh, great question so far too. It's really kind of touched on uh, the newer 4248 and how it would help your off-grid system. Uh, so what this is, it's a 4200 watt, 48 VDC split phase inverter charger. So when you're setting up your off-grid system, this is the route I think we'd be leaning. Uh, this is kind of what I would recommend. Um, I'm gonna get into a few of its feature sets, but comes with the same three-year warranty. Uh, comes with the auto gen start relay. You can hardwire in generator grid, uh, three year warranty, and the safety certifications. So, faceplate, very similar, uh, just only one AC input on this. As I said, it, it's kind of meant more for the off grid. So, most times you're going to have solar and maybe a generator, uh, but it will accept line, grid power, shore power, uh, and generator as well. Output, uh, is the you know the split phase the two legs uh, and then the DC input here on this one is actually 100 amps uh, giving you a little more space to add a bigger PV system uh, and then the remote 
So we do recommend going with the Evil RC Plus as it works across the entire series of Evos uh, from the 1200s to the 4200. It's a flush mount remote, four lines of display. Uh, I talked a little bit about the SD card function there, functionality. Another nice thing about it is when you have this installed and maybe there's a concern or there's some, uh, you know, something you need to address with the system, having the SD card there to log that performance allows you to send that into our tech team. Uh, I, we got somebody we're helping out right now and they sent us the data and we're able to say, hey, here's the adjustments, setting adjustments you should make with it. Or maybe there's some firmware, uh, but it's just allowing you to update or change the system without having to pull this, this 70 pound unit out, uh, which saves you a lot of time and, and a lot of, you know, potential downtime, especially when you're living off grid and you're relying on this for power. Three year warranty on the remote as well to match the, the Evo. Okay, uh, product benefits. Uh, I really just like to highlight here a few of the areas that you know we get questions on. And again, thanks to everyone for already firing questions on, on some of these uh, features. Um, but these are things people bring up and I would kind of want to run through it. Uh, we're still good for questions right now and anything new come through. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take the silence is good. Um, okay, so starting at uh, one, you know, feature that we get asked for quite a bit. And I like talking about this feature because it's really going to maybe help an off-grid system. Uh, so that's the surge. We are talking about a three time surge on this unit, uh, which is great for something like some uh, pumps, well pumps. This gives you the ability to design your system around a 4200 watt inverter charger and not having to size up to a, you know, a 6800 uh, to meet that pump's demands. Uh, it also has overload allowances, uh, so it can run 110% for 30 minutes. Uh, so this just means if you're going through and you're flipping on different applications, different loads, um, the Evo is in a handle lat uh, for for duration of time. So that you're not shutting down your system because you turned on one too many things at once. Another great feature here that uh, that I get asked about quite a bit is the remote. Nice thing about it, especially for programmability, is you have a physical remote there in front of you, you're able to change the settings with it. Uh, other things we can do with the SD card, if you're in implementing a lot of these Evos, we can clone settings. So you set one up, hook the SD card into the next one's remote, saves you some setup time there. Great for someone that's maybe doing like a, like a lodge and there's quite a few of these throughout the, throughout the, the space. Uh, also with the remote, as I mentioned, SD card, the log performance, uh, really a, a nice feature there, uh, especially for firmware updates and, and troubleshooting. You know, AC input, as mentioned, works with grid or generator with the auto start relay there for the, for the generator, uh, really allowing this to fit in an off-grid system or in a battery backup system where you know you want to have multiple backups in case of power loss. Well, if you have your generator hooked up, uh, and you have your solar panels, uh, this thing can just keep running. As soon as the batteries get too low, if there's not enough solar, generators coming on to, to send power through the system. The inverter, someone already asked right off the hop, which is good. So the idle draw is 30 under 30 watts. The power saving mode with no load is less than eight. And as I mentioned, there's another setting, the standby setting. You can do this less than five. Great for those remote building setups where you're not there all the time and you don't want that parasitic draw draining your, your battery life. Uh, it's nice to have it you know, less than eight even, but less than five is even better. Battery charger, you know, I, I can't say enough about the fact that this is a programmable battery charger. Uh, there's so much you can do with it when you're changing the settings around to fit the battery bank that you need. Then if you're then expand the battery bank later on, again, you can go and adjust those settings to make it fit with the amount of larger amp hours in that battery bank. Uh, DC external input. Now, I think when we're setting up an off-grid system, you know, we have kind of our, 
uh, trusted and our commonly used charge controllers. Uh, so it's nice to not necessarily have one built into the system where you don't get an option. Now you can choose your charge controller separately, but still have it run through the DC input at 100 amps to get that extra little bit of monitoring of what power, what current is going down into the battery bank. Uh, and then state of the art, you know, this thing comes with nine physical points of protection. It, it's really there if something goes wrong in the system that it's shutting itself down and, and protecting itself. As the power plant of the system, you know, you don't want it burning out. So you don't want to having to remove this and replace it with another unit. Having those, those protections built in uh, really makes it a reliable unit. And I will say too, it's not on here, but we see with these things, you know, less than 1% failure rate on them. So even though it has all these, you know, even though we offer the tech support and we offer the SD card and it has all these physical protection points, uh, these are very reliable units to have in your system. I, I think that's it. I think that kind of covered the, the main points that we get asked about. Um, it, is there any questions yeah, on there, the unit? There are, so here we go. Uh, what types of support or training resources are available to users implementing the Evo system in their off-grid systems? Great question. So we offer as much resources as we can in the form of online videos, online spec sheets and manuals, uh, runtime calculator. We have install videos you give us a call, we have a technical uh, support staff in-house that will, will help you out. Uh, the other side of it too, if there's a warranty request, we have a warranty, warranty team staff in-house again to help you out. So there's no uh, submitting and waiting for, for a response. You can get an answer right away. Then for training, you reach out to your Baywa team uh, and they can set up training with Bewa and myself and you. Uh, happy to run through product specific webinars and online training and really getting the expertise of the Samlex Evo line and the expertise of the Bewa with their uh, products that go around the Evo uh, to help you put together your system. Um, so yeah, reach out at any time. We, we can set these up. Can you discuss any innovative features or technologies incorporated into the Evo series that set them apart from other options in the market? Yeah, so it, one of the nice things about the Evo uh, is it's built on a, a footprint that's very similar to products you might already have in systems you'd be familiar with. Uh, so if you're taking one out, the ability to drop this into the same foot is a, is a perk. As far as innovative features, well, we're probably one of the only ones you see out there that does the three times search, again, allowing you to size to your system and not have to worry about those initial startup uh, load demands. Also the DC input at the 100 amps. Uh, I see right now either no DC input or built-in MPPT. Uh, so that would be something that's a little different on ours. Um, I think the physical points of protection, I think also the remote and the SD card is stuff that you don't see out there in the market. Are there any upcoming developments or future technologies expected to be integrated into the Evo series for off-grid systems? Yeah, so this year we came out with our EVO 30AB. It is a 30 amp charge controller. Again, it's the PWM, but we are looking to expand this, this addition to it. Uh, and it's really just meant to pair with the EVO. Uh, there's gonna be things that will make your system a little easier with communication between the EVO and the, the EVO uh, AB charge controller and the RC Plus, uh, where you're getting all that information onto your, your RC Plus. So you're really just pulling the system into each other. Uh, so again, 30 AB came out this year, look for the expansion on that. Can you elaborate on any eco-friendly features or initiatives incorporated into the Evo series for off-grid systems? You know, I don't have a I don't have a specific example on that right now, but I would I would like to, and I appreciate the question. So I think that's something I will have to come back to because it 
it is important that you know if we're we're developing and, and manufacturing these products that we have a focus on um, you know eco-friendly options as well. So I, I will have to come back to you on that question. Sure. Is there plans to release a fully digital display, five or seven inch display, like competitors? Uh, so to have no buttons and no touch screen or to fit in a certain application? Um, I, a good question. I don't think we have something right now that would be fully digital. The RC Plus uh, and the 30AB is kind of the next stage, but um, maybe down the line, yeah. If that's something that we're looking for, I, I'd like to get that uh, information from you later. Okay, and... Uh, sorry, just some of these are asking the same thing. Are there specific features in the Evo line that allow for the advanced diagnostics and troubleshooting? Yeah, so the the remote itself with the SD card, uh, this is kind of a overlap of stuff I, I've said, but the SD card there will log data. And it, it's just gonna log everything that's going on with the Evo. Then that all gives you the ability to, to really organize and use that data how you want. You can have it check power loads daily, weekly, hourly, uh, and and see what's coming in, what's going out. You can have it monitor, uh, you know, power going out with the uh, with the inverter side of it. Um, so that yes, there is a way to really monitor what the system is doing with the remote and the SD card. Uh, the nice thing about it is just a lot of raw data, and you're able to compose it how you want. We could we can help if if you want to break down on how to do that. Okay, uh, and then someone's asking: Is the PST 624 600 watt Pearson inverter available on Baywalk Canada online store yet? Also 150. So if it um, is not in stock, it's definitely available for special order, and we can turn around special orders in about a week. So. Um, where we're both Canadian companies, uh, very easy to get the product brought in in a timely fashion. Um, also, what considerations were made to ensure the Evo line can accommodate future upgrades and expansions? Uh, they, yeah, good question. So a lot of this, uh, a lot of its design uh, is already in there. So for example, the 4248, when it's going to be available to, to stack into larger systems, it is a firmware update. It is not a change in the product. So if you buy one now and down the line, you want to add in another one, it, you'll be able to do so. Uh, so we have those type of considerations already built in. There's other, some other developments in the works that I can't talk about right now, but there is stuff built into it that we will just develop and give future growth of the unit. Okay, great. I, I think we hit most of the questions. If we missed anything, folks, we'll definitely round back with you. We'll we'll make sure we put you in touch uh, with your account rep for any follow-up questions. Once again, thank you very much for attending. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Sam, Lex, and Zach. Tremendous partner. If you do want more information, please uh, go into your web shop account. You can find the specs there, pricing, inventory, install manuals place and see all your orders there we do have many sales reps across the country uh here ready to help um and this was recorded it'll be shared on the youtube channel and also come out in the newsletter here at the end of the month and once again just thank you everybody thank you zach have a merry christmas happy holidays happy festivus and uh hope you're all doing well thanks thanks matt i really appreciate getting on here um, before we take off, guys, you know, there's going to be everybody that attended today. Uh, we're going to do a gift card giveaway. As mentioned, we got two of them. So we're going to draw a name uh, and we'll reach out to you if you're the winner. So, again, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Baywa, uh, for setting this up and hosting me here today. Um, yeah, as Matt said, everybody enjoy their holidays.